Angie, and as promised, I'm back to tell you about um, how I liked my IPL photo facial after I had gotten all four treatments done. Now, you may have watched my first video where I reviewed my first treatment, and I showed you the before, and the immediately after, and then the next morning, and then about two weeks after. So um, in that video, I couldn't give you the full review of how I felt about the treatment because I had bought a package of four and I wanted to do the review after I had all four done. So I had the last one done last Thursday, um, so it's been exactly a week since I had it done. I guess what you're really here to find out is, um, did I like it and did I feel like it worked and was it worth the money? And um, just to cut to the chase, I'm going to tell you that well, I didn't mind the treatment, I don't really think it worked all that well, and it definitely, for my opinion, was not worth the money. So if that's what you came here for, you can go ahead and turn this off and, and uh, go about your life and make your decision. But if you want to hear, you know, why I um, don't really think it's worth it, then um, by all means, stay and watch. So if you didn't watch the first video, let me just recount for you um, what the treatment was like. Normally the laser, it's not a laser, IPL is intense pulse light. So um, normally the IPL photofacial runs about $250 per treatment and you need anywhere between four and six treatments. So it can run you from $1,000 to $1,500, which, you know, of course, way too much for me. So I ended up buying the package of four treatments for $600. And um, really, of course, with even investing $600, I really wanted this thing to work. Because, you know, that's still a lot of money. Even though it's much cheaper, still a lot of money. The first treatment, I found it wasn't too, too painful. I could make it through just fine. Um, it really pulled a lot of brown spots up to the surface. And when I left her office that time and over the course of the next two weeks, I had lots and lots of little crusty brown spots that all had to slough off. And so I thought, wow, this is really working great. Look at all this stuff that it brought up to the surface. And um, it seemed to really take care of initially my couple of age spots uh, that I didn't like. And I also had some redness here and on my chin and in my T-zone that I wasn't happy with and some broken capillaries by the sides of my nose. The second time I went in, I found that it really hurt a lot more. Now they turn up the machine every time you go, so it's you know more and more intense each time you go. And so after the second one, I felt like I was not going back for the third. I was like, my gosh, when, when we finished, I said, why did that hurt so much more than the first? She said, well, number one, we turned it up. And number two, your skin is now sensitized to it. So um, I actually found that I could feel it in my fillings. I have, you know, lots of metal fillings back here. And I could feel when she would zap my cheeks, I could feel it in my fillings. And then I thought it was crazy. So... Um, Anyway, since I mentioned that it was so painful, she goes, oh, well, you know, why didn't you say something? I have this numbing gel that I could put on your face. Next time, remind me, we'll put it on. So, ah, great. Um, so that time, it really didn't bring up that many, that many spots, and I really didn't feel like it did that much more. Um, but since she had the numbing gel, I was like, okay, I'll go in for the third one. So I went back for the third one. And she put on the numbing gel. And I got to say, that stuff worked great. If you do go and you find it to be painful, definitely ask for the numbing gel. So the third time, you know, she zapped everything and it raised even fewer little dark spots this time. But since I had already prepaid the whole package, I went back for the fourth treatment, had the numbing gel. Um, and this was a week ago. And, you know, it raised a, still a few little spots. But what I noticed between the third and fourth treatment was that um, I also started getting some funky spots, like my age spots were up here. I also started getting some discoloration down here on both of my cheeks. And now I wasn't sure if it was from the IPL or from something else that I'm doing because I am switching around my skincare routine. I'm working Retin-A in and I'm using a alpha hydroxy acid that I've never used before. So I looked into all three. And as it turns out, one of the cons of getting the IPL is that it can cause some hyperpigmentation. So you can end up with it actually causing darker spots in other areas of your face that you didn't have them before. It can also cause um, the opposite of that, which is skin lightening. So you can end up with patches that have um, 
no pigmentation in them. Now that I've explained all four, let, let's do the close-up so I can do the side-by-side. -side. Uh, boy, it, it was kind of <laughs> overcast out a few minutes ago when I started this, and um, the light was nice and soft, and now it's really shining brightly in, in the window. I feel like I'm squinting, but maybe that'll help with um, seeing what's going on over here. So let me come in for the close-up, and we'll look, and I'll put up the side-by-side, -side and we can compare uh, the before to the after. Okay, now I think that I have, I think that the main age spots up here are gone. I think that a lot of my redness up here and here and here are diminished. Um, but I think I have new spots in here, and I think that the broken capillaries, which is actually where I thought it was working the best, now I feel like they're back again, and maybe they were temporarily um, fried, but uh, I don't know, they seem to be back. But let's take the close-up, and then when we do the side-by-side -side comparison, we'll be able to tell better, okay? So here I come. Uh, again, I don't have any makeup on. This is just my skin with moisturizer and sunblock. And on my forehead, like, I am very freckly. Freckles are brown spots, so I thought maybe it would take care of them, but clearly no, because I have lots and lots of freckles up there still. And now on this side. And the capillaries. Overall, I feel like if someone had said to me before I did this, um, you're going to spend $600 and it's going to take care of uh, some of your redness in your T-zone and by the sides of your nose and your chin, but your age spots are pretty much going to be there. It's not going to do anything for your broken capillaries and um, it's going to cause some hypo, hyperpigmentation that'll give you even more sort of age spot looking things, um, I probably would have said, no, thank you. But um, since, of course, when you're looking into it, everything sounds so fabulous, they tell you all the great things it's going to do for you, um, I jumped in and bought it. So if you are here um, because you're considering doing IPL, Here's what I would tell you. Number one, do a lot of research. And this is part of your research, and that's great. This is my personal experience. I, I've seen online there are lots of people who've had a great experience with it and um, didn't have any problem. It didn't hurt at all. They were happy with the price. Um, my experience is that, you know, it hurt a pretty good amount and I'm not that thrilled with what it has done for my skin. And I think a lot of the claims are a little over-exaggerated. Uh, I don't really think that there's anything that can reduce the size of your pores. They're not like windows that open and close. They are what they are. Um, and so certainly I didn't have any reduction in the size of my pores. Um, as we saw, my broken capillaries are still there and broken, and now I feel like I have more stuff going on over here that needs to be covered up with concealer and makeup. For the money, $600 or $1,000 or $1,200, whatever you're going to spend, um, you can buy a lot of foundation and a lot of concealer for that kind of money. Um, so for me, in the future, I will not be looking into any more um, photo facials or probably even any more lasering. So if you have age spots that you would like to get rid of, um, I would look at an IPL or a laser treatment last. What I would do is look into a vitamin C serum first. Um, everyone seems to be talking about it on YouTube. Uh, there are ways to make your own at home for really very short money. Or you can buy a vitamin C treatment. Now this could take up to six months to um, help diminish your age spots. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you if it works or not. But everybody else swears by it. So I feel like, you know, if you have six months uh, that you're going to be thinking about this, take that time to do your research on IPL and try the vitamin C treatment. The other thing is that um, dermatologists use liquid nitrogen to remove them all the time. And um, while it's going to cost you the doctor's appointment, 
um, and it may or may not be covered by insurance, you can pretty much go in there and for 250 bucks for an office visit, you can have you know a whole boatload of age spots removed with liquid nitrogen. Um, I kind of wish I had known that before because that's probably what I would have done. I would look into spot treating my age spots um, now before I would look into having like a whole face thing done. I thought this would take care of my freckles and all this other stuff and you know it really didn't. And like I said, you can buy a whole lot of Botox, fillers, concealers, whatever, for that six to twelve hundred dollars. So um, sorry to say this was a disappointment for me. I had such high hopes for it, but it's a learning experience, and so I'm here to pass my information on to you so that I hope that you don't make the same mistakes I do. Or, who knows, you may like how this came out and decide, yes, this is for me, I'm going to do it. That's it. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and um, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.